Hello everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Pikmin 3 playthrough. Uh, this is actually going to be the final video of the main part of the project because, uh, well, we've done some work here in the Formidable Oak. We are getting pretty close to the end of this. Uh, we got that and then one final boss fight to go and then we're going to be essentially done with uh, this game, uh, the single player mode. So. Um, strap in, it's probably going to be a pretty long video because it's going to have this day, uh, whatever's happening on the following day if it takes that long, as well as the credits, so I hope you guys are ready for that. Um, before we get started, let's check in with our crew one final time. What do you suppose that strange life form even wants? That is unclear. It doesn't seem interested in our juice supply. It's peculiar how it's so focused on chasing Olimar. Here's what we're going to do. Alf and I will distract the beast. Brittany, you grab Olimar and get him back to the SS Drake. Yes, sir. You guys be careful. That's funny how that's not really what happens, even. Like, <laughs> that's really not, not how it works, because we kind of need to... You know, we kind of need to use uh, Brittany to distract the beast while we move the way forward, which is not exactly what Charlie ordered right there. Okay, so, welcome back to uh, Formidable Oak. We're essentially going to try to finish the rest of this today. But in order to do that, we need to uh, pretty much set up the same way we did the last time. Although I am going to make a slight adjustment here. Um, not much of one. Um, I think I'm still going to bring 20 each. Uh, but I'm not going to put wing Pikmin on Olimar, since uh, I don't think we really have to worry about uh, what Pikmin carries Olimar anymore. Uh, instead of using wing Pikmin, we're going to use rock Pikmin, because at the very end of this section, um, naturally, we're going to have a boss fight, and... We're going to need pretty much all rock Pikmin on the field, so that's what we're going to be uh, focusing on anyway. Uh, so there we go. Ah, Olimar. Phew, he's all right. That gold life form doesn't seem to be around. Let's use this chance to rescue him. Sounds like a good idea to me. So yeah, like I said, we're going to use rock Pikmin this time. The Pikmin don't seem to know which way to go. Okay then, it's time to relaunch Operation Rescue Olimar. In that case, I'll direct the Pikmin. Thanks, Brittany. You can get started on transporting Olimar back to the ship, Brittany. Alf and I are going to search the immediate vicinity to see if we've overlooked anything, and then we'll catch up with you. Okay, here I go. Whee! <laughs> oh, Brittany. Oh, Brittany. Okay, so this is how this is going to be different. First of all, as you can see, Brittany is uh, already um, in the cave, which is good. But, the thing is right here. Uh, thankfully, though, we immediately get control of Brittany here. Here it is again. Brittany. Brittany, get Olimar out of here. I'm on it. Pikmin, follow me. Okay, so like I said, Brittany gets controlled immediately. Uh, let's put Brittany... I'm only going to put her at this intersection right here. So we're going to do that. I'm uh, going to send you guys over this way so we can get uh, continued to working on the uh, section we were working on before. There's really not much we have left to do. It's really just a matter of, uh, I think we have to light one more, uh, electric thing. I know, very descriptive. And we also have to, like, knock over a clipboard. I think there's another spider we have to kill. But that's pretty much it. Like, we are almost done here. There's not much we have to do. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Charlie. And we're going to throw him over here. And I'm also going to throw the yellow Pikmin over here. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, we definitely still have time, so you wait here while, while we do this. So you're going to grab these, and you're going to light... 
this. That'll cause some more mushrooms to grow, which is what we want. Um, let's also grab this data file just for fun. Uh, how long have I been out? My mind is still cloudy. That golden life form pursues me relentlessly. I don't have any Pikmin here to help me. I'm at the end of my rope, and I don't know how I'll ever escape. I think the forced sleep mode in my suit is kicking in. Losing consciousness again. Zzz. Poor Olimar. Also, I made him sound like he was a robot right there or something. Okay, so let's have Charlie go here just to get ready. Um, hopefully none of my Pikmin fall off of this bridge. It looks like we're okay. Uh, then we have to turn over this way, go through this. Uh, before I do this, uh... Oh, well, Brittany's actually not really much in danger. Let's actually go ahead and get her going towards, uh, the exit. Again, this is really, really nice that I've been able to make such good progress in such a short period of time here. Uh, so let's go ahead and beat the spider. Um... You guys go ahead and get this data file that's going to be inside that molehill. Yeah, it's a data file. I don't care that I'm spoiling it. It's literally the last data file I'm trying to get in this playthrough. You're here, okay. Well, while you're doing that... Go ahead and put you here. We're, like, literally about done, guys, and it feels pretty freaking good. Okay, let's go ahead and very quickly grab the data file. Number four, that is the last, well, quote-unquote last secret file. Obviously, there's that one we didn't get in uh, the um, Garden of Hope that I'll go back for, and then I'll talk about the data files. But um, aside from that one, yeah, we're uh, pretty good to go on that. And I believe, okay, we have 95. Brittany should be joining us very shortly. Pikmin just entered this room, so they'll be here shortly as well. <laughs> I, I see his corpse down there. Okay, so there we go. Got Brittany. Let's actually leave. Um, and yeah, we can definitely leave right now. The Pikmin will be able to make it back. Uh, the glob, the giant glob of goop is going to be a little close to where Olimar is right now. But, uh, I think he's safe. Because, um... Olimar's currently, like, above it, so it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna very quickly go over here to our base, and we're going to deposit our numbers. With the exception of bringing out all, and I mean all, of our rock Pikmin. So, um, essentially we have a hundred rock Pikmin on the field. This is one of two ways you can approach this fight. Um, you can approach this fight using all your different types, but uh, I do not recommend that because it can be pretty uh, intimidating due to all the stuff you have to do. Uh, well, with Rock Pikmin, you can kind of... Uh, there's a little bit of safety with just using Rock Pikmin, and I'll talk about that shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Are we almost done here? I'm just looking to see where... The Pikmin are at... Oh, yeah, they're coming through the transition right now. Okay, here we go. We made it. There he is. He is not happy. He's pretty huge. He grabbed Olimar. Olimar! Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Plasm Raid, the final boss of the game. Uh, so this is what you essentially want to do here. Um, he has this neutral attack. Uh, this neutral attack cannot hurt you, or hurt your... Well, it can hurt you, but it can't hurt your uh, rock Pikmin. Because of this, it is heavily recommended to use only rock Pikmin just because of that, because 
if you use other Pikmin, obviously, um, you're going to have to constantly deal with that. It's not fun. Not recommended. It makes it a much more stressful fight. Well, with just rocks, you just have to worry about, you know, putting the damage in and then, you know, focusing on the future um, phases. Uh, you also want to avoid his neutral attack, though, just because uh, it can stun the captains quite a bit, and obviously you don't want that to happen. Uh, but for the most part, like, this is not too bad. It's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory, and you can usually focus pretty easily on all the two. Uh, usually when he gets to around one-fourth of his health being missing, that's when he'll start to kind of uh, change things up a little bit. And that's where the fight gets a little complicated, and that's where I can honestly see people, like, recommending to use all the Pikmin types, uh, just because of uh, what you have to deal with. Uh, so when you get to a certain part, as you can see, uh, we'll use this attack where um, the, I guess, the cube is surrounded by one of the five or four obstacles of the game. So water, fire, electricity, and crystal. Um, essentially, um, obviously for Rock Pikmin, you don't want to need to be careful of the water one. And, and also the fire one, because the fire one can also do damage. The electricity one... Um, okay, this is the crystal one. That's perfect. Uh, the electricity one, it won't do damage to you, because um, electricity doesn't kill in this game. Unlike uh, Pikmin 2, where it was an instant KO. So the, electric the electricity one's not bad, you just can't do anything with it. Uh, water, obviously you can't really do anything with that one either. Um, because Pikmin will drown whenever they try to uh, get to it. Come on, get up! Uh, but fire, you can damage uh, during that phase. It's just, uh, you have to be very precise and quick because of the nature of the fire phase. And you have to make sure you whistle your Pikmin back if they do get engulfed by the flames. Um, here he's flying. This is, I guess, where like it's encouraging you to use wing Pikmin. But obviously, we don't have wing Pikmin, so we're not going to do that. Also, use your sprays in this fight. Using your sprays will make this fight go a lot faster. Uh, we're about halfway done. Honestly, I think we're making pretty good time. Uh, we've gotten kind of lucky with the phases, thankfully. Um, so, let's see if we can do that. honestly going to be a little unfortunate. I feel like we're going to lose some Pikmin here. But, at the same time, we're also going to get a lot of damage in, too, which is, I think, more important at this point. Let's go ahead and read this. Uh, Plasm Wraith number two. It starts flying. Send you in your wing, Pikmin. Yeah, I already figured that out. Game. Thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and check this data file, too, while he's kind of walking around. Plasm Wraith one. Attack the fragments when it breaks apart. Yeah, we figured that out, too. Oh, even Olimar's trying to help us out. Like, I think, like, one of the data parts, or one of the data files comes out when, like, you're attacking it. I wonder if that's, like, Olimar, like, trying to help you, like, while he's stuck. Which, if that's the case, that's pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty freaking epic, but Olimar is such a badass. I'm gonna probably mess a lot of fire. No. Unfortunately, I probably lost a lot of Pikmin there. Oh man, I did. I lost like 10 Pikmin from that one attack. But I'm doing a lot of damage to him though, that's the thing. So I don't want to like, like reset or anything. This, this fight's honestly going pretty good. I us wish again we didn't do this flying thing. The problem with the flying phase, at least with what my numbers right now, is that you know, I could probably hit him with yellow Pikmin, but uh, rock Pikmin, due to their, like, stubbiness, you can't really get through them as fast. Let's see if... Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ugh. kind of missing a lot of yeah, I 
think that's... in the red that's not bad oh. Come on, get him! Yes! Got him! Man, I lost a lot of Pikmin, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. I, I lost way more than I was wanting to, but um, we got him down. I got really lucky because a lot of the phases did have the uh, um, crystal phase, but um, still, that fight can really, really go wrong if the luck's not in your favor, especially if he makes like two electricity and one water barrier, or one electric, one water, and then the fire, which, you know, fire obviously sends them everywhere, which is not really helpful. Um, but yeah, here we go. Final cutscene of the game. Yeah, a little late for that, Olimar. What <laughs> <laughs> I love how they have Louie tied up right there. But yeah, there we go. It was uh, it was a rough battle. It was a rough day. A rough two days, technically. But uh, we made it, guys. We made it. Hey, look, even the Plasm Wraith is saying goodbye up there.
And so the intrepid explorers successfully complete their mission. After securing a bountiful supply of edible matter and learning the valuable lessons of planning and teamwork, the explorers are set to become the saviors of their home planet. Under their guidance, the seeds they've recovered will be used to kick off a sustainable cycle of cultivation and harvesting, thus bringing new life to Kopai. However, one question remains. What was the cause of the accident that sent the SS Drake hurtling to PNF 404 surface? Perhaps it wasn't an accident after all. And with that, we have made it to the credits and we've officially beaten Pikmin 3, so... I guess I'll start getting into my final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts on the game, um, I think it's a pretty solid game. Um, it's one of the few remaining exclusives that the Wii U has left. <laughs> so if you have a Wii U, I definitely recommend it, especially if you have any sort of interest in Pikmin. Uh, this game definitely, I think, fixes a lot of problems that kind of existed in the first two games. Not completely, mind you. Um, the Pikmin AI still is not perfect, but I think this is the best Pikmin AI in the series so far. Um, and I also am not super fond of like some of the revisits in some of these areas. I feel like some of the things and the pieces of fruit are like really awkwardly scattered, but w when I'm getting into that, that's kind of more nitpicky more than anything. Um, it's still a very fun game. I really, really enjoyed playing this, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, this is a really, really solid game. Uh, definitely major props to the folks over at Nintendo for making another exciting installment of the Pikmin series. And I eagerly await another installment of the Pikmin series, one that isn't Hey Pikmin. <laughs> Um, some of you are probably wondering about Hey Pikmin. I will probably do a playthrough on that at some point. I do actually have the game. I actually picked it up at a uh, kind of a bargain bin store or game store, retail retro game store, whatever you want to call those. So I was able to pick it up and I do have a copy of the game. Haven't played it yet, but it is something I will uh, probably get to at some point um, in the next few years. Uh, but I do want to play it first and get a feel for the game uh, before I do anything. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much my thoughts on Pikmin 3. Very solid game, definitely worth a check out if you like the series, or if you have any interest in the series. It's a lot of fun, and it may seem very difficult at times, but Pikmin always seems to be a series that, even though it seems pretty difficult, I think it has a very, very steady learning curve. You can kind of develop your multi-tasking uh, skills while you're playing this, and that's a really cool thing about it. Um, so yeah, definitely a solid game. Like I said, one of the very few exclusives that the Wii U has that isn't on the Switch at this point, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, those are my uh, basic thoughts on the game as a whole. As far as the project, this project was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed playing this for you guys. Um, it took a while for me to get here, but at the same time, it took a while in between Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3. Anyway, so I guess I'm kind of sticking to tradition when it comes to that. But uh, hopefully we'll have to wait too long for the next Pikmin playthrough. Again, not counting Hey Pikmin in any way, shape, or form. Um, but that's not going to be it for this playthrough. Um, as, as I've mentioned before, I mentioned in the very first episode, I'll mention it again. I do plan to cover the challenge mode, mission mode, whatever you want to call it. I will be taking a look at that and uh, checking that out. Um, at some point um, in the next year. Um, it's not going to be right away. I'm kind of uh, Pikmin out for the moment. Um, but I will get to that. I'll start recording those. And, you know, those could be a weekend upload. They could be a during the week upload, like I've done for some of the other projects I've done in the last year. Uh, stuff of that nature. I'll get to it when I get to it. Um, so just kind of be patient. But I will be covering mission mode. 
Um, as far as uh, bingo battle and that, that's just kind of the two-player mode. Um, if I have a opportunity to show that off, I will. Um, if I don't, uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. But it is potentially something I, sh I could showcase in the future. Just can't really showcase it right now, if I'm being honest. Uh, so now that we've beaten the game, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the final report here. This is basically your final game stats. It shows you how many fruit you collected. It also shows uh, your clear time in terms of number of days and actually your actual time. And it also shows how many Pikmin you lost. Look at all those rock Pikmin. <laughs> I'm ashamed to know that a lot of those lock rock Pikmin losses were actually in today's video. Because <laughs> I went from like 100 to like low 40s, so... Yeah, the losses should have not been that high. I just didn't really want to redo that boss fight. Especially since I kind of had like a, a little bit of the ending part of the chase sequence left. That would have been just really annoying to kind of redo and keep redoing. So I decided, eh, whatever. I'll just uh, take the losses. But yeah, you can you can generally mitigate losses by just being a little more careful and being a little more conservative. I just didn't feel like I had the time to be too, too conservative in that fight. Uh, just with how uh, chaotic it can be. Uh, but yeah, you can see how many Pikmin you lost, including Pikmin of each type. You can also see how many Pikmin you've created overall, again, for each type and overall. It's uh, pretty cool statistics. You get statistics like these at the end of every Pikmin game. So it's kind of neat. Um, there's also two other options, as you can see at the bottom there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably cut to each. Um, first of all, you can take a look at your best five, which basically shows uh, your five best completions um, in this game. Um, as you can see, there's uh, three completions that you see right now. Uh, that is because um, I have that first playthrough I did uh, back when I streamed this game, like a couple of years ago. And then the other playthrough is technically the same file. It's just the file that I played a little bit ahead of in my practice file. Uh, so there really wasn't that much of a difference between uh, my live playthrough and my practice playthrough. Although in my practice playthrough, I feel like I lost more Pikmin overall. Like, because I always went back and, like, did a little better uh, with, uh, you know, mitigating Pikmin losses. So, it was a little better in that department. But, uh, still, uh, that basically that's what this is. Your last five playthroughs, your best scores. And the rankings, um, these are actually global rankings. And it's actually pretty interesting because, as you can see, I, I did actually pretty well in both of these. Um, in terms of uh, the two statistics, you have the uh, rankings in terms of fruit you collected. So, obviously, like if you collected everything, um, you should be expected to be on the far end of the spectrum here. Uh, but as far as the other one, it also shows you how well you did in completing the game in a certain number of days and collecting all the fruit and everything. And I think I did pretty well. Like, um, obviously, it's not at the very end of the uh, graph. Um, that's where all the speedrunners and all the, like, really amazing multitaskers are. It, it's just really hard to speedrun this game, I think. Uh, it would be really hard for me because I'm someone who likes to kind of think about my moves and I'm someone who likes to be very careful. A lot of the speedrun strats kind of uh, involve you kind of taking some risks with, like, hoping that enemies don't see certain Pikmin. Or you just know the path they're going to take so you know they're going to be safe from danger. Um, it's, it's really, really difficult, and kudos to those players for being able to keep all that stuff in mind and registering all of that. I just cannot do that for the life of me, so definitely kudos to those people uh, for putting on such an amazing uh, display of Pikmin fortitude. Um, so yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. Um, whenever you finish a game, um, you can't really do what you can do in other Pikmin games where you can't really revisit areas or anything. It just kind of says... Oh, hey, you've completed this playthrough. Um, but what you can do is, obviously, you can set a new playthrough by going back to day one of that playthrough and kind of starting over again. Or you can go back to specific days. You can go back to the day before um, you finish the game and kind of work on some stuff there before you go back to the final area. Uh, stuff of that nature. Um, I'm probably going to do that really quickly to show off that last data file and everything. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, how you can essentially play a new game or you know still get some use out of your current file i'm obviously not going to worry about it i've already completed the game we've seen the credits we've seen all the good stuff um i'm pretty much done with this file 
Um, but like I said, I will be going back for that very quick data file, so uh, stay tuned for that. And speaking of which, I will probably start getting into that now, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the secret data files and what exactly they unlock and what exactly they do. So as you guys can see, I'm going to start talking about the secret data files here. Um, in the background, I'm going to showcase how you get this last data file, the data file that uh, I was unfortunately unable to uh, get uh, during the playthrough because I was just a bit too slow and couldn't quite uh, fit the scales properly. I think I also screw this up too, so this will this will be a perfect uh, you know kind of perfect segue into what I'm actually going to be talking about here. Uh, so yeah, throughout the playthrough, we've been collecting these secret data files. Uh, the secret data files are basically 10 data files, um, each one has a single number on it, and if you actually go to your um, notes on your uh, gamepad, um, you can actually see all the numbers together, and they kind of make a secret code of sorts. Um, each area has two data files, so uh, Garden of Hope has two, Tropical Wilds has two, Distant Tundra has two, Twilight River has two, and Formidable Oak has two. Uh, this will give you a 10-digit number. And this is kind of how the story of how these secret files actually worked and how they actually kind of came into existence. Uh, so at one point, um, when the game first came out, uh, we didn't really have an idea for what these secret data files were for. They are just like, oh hey, look at these secret numbers. Ooh, how mysterious. What do these numbers mean? Uh, but back then, on the Miiverse server, uh, which was the old uh, Nintendo Wii U online service, um, Shigeru Miyamoto, I believe it was Miyamoto, it could have been Iwata, I'm pretty sure it was Miyamoto though, just because Pikmin is kind of his baby and everything. Um, he actually posted a link to a website that you could only access with the uh, Wii U's internet browser. Uh, so you'd go to that website, it'd ask you for a code, and that is where you actually input the 10 digit number that the secret uh, data files actually spell out. Um, there are four specific codes. Um, the codes are randomized between playthroughs, so you could get another code, a completely different code on your second playthrough. It's kind of cool how it does that, but I kind of also wish that there'd also just be more files to allow you to do that instead of what they actually did for this game. Uh, but still, um, that's further from the point. Uh, basically, you'd enter those files and you'd actually get to watch a special video. Uh, this is just a fun little video that the uh, creators of the game made uh, to kind of uh, not really promote the game because obviously you need to play the game to actually see these. But they're, you know, it's fun little bonus content that kind of you know pushes you to try to find all these data files and you know see what exactly that these videos are. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and showcase the video that I unlocked with my secret code. Um, I'm not going to showcase the other videos because I don't want to kind of get into any weirdness with like copyright infringement or anything. That shouldn't be the case because again it would just be a matter of me playing another game and then you know getting the codes that way. Uh, but I'm also not entirely sure if they'd actually show the videos properly because I don't know if they show them on the TV screen or the gamepad. So either way I'm just going to showcase the video I got. I'll put a link to the other videos in the video description. Uh, so if you want to watch all of them, you can. And there is also another special video that was made that's kind of in the same vein. Uh, but it doesn't actually... you can't actually get that last video. It's kind of a super special secret unlockable video. Uh, so I'll go ahead and again put those in the video description. But uh, this is the video that we unlocked. I'm super. I'm in the window, And with that, that is going to actually do it for this playthrough. So thank you, thank you everybody uh, for watching uh, the Pikmin 3 project. Like I said, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, like I said before, hopefully the next Pikmin game doesn't take too long to come out. 
uh, because Pikmin's a really, really fun series, and I really just kind of like the idea behind Pikmin. And I've had a lot of fun with this series throughout, and I'm glad to actually have uh, playthroughs of the first three Pikmin games for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this project. Um, like I said, I'll be back at some point for mission mode and all that other fun extra stuff. Uh, but for now, we're going to be closing this game, and this is going to be the closure of the last playthrough of 2019. Um, of course, I'll have some uh, special videos released in the next few days um, in, re in regards to the end of 2019, as well as my Project of the Year video, as I normally have. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for 2019. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on this journey uh, through Pikmin 3. And uh, thank you for joining me on this journey of 2019. It's been fun. And uh, So this has been Slim Kirby. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.